My next guest is going to be taking on Jalen Kingbird at Throne MMA February 24th. It is right around the corner to Sean Stack joining me here on the program. Sean, how are you? Good. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for making time. I know you're a busy guy and obviously you got the fight coming up on the 24th. Uh, but I wanted to go all the way back to the beginning with you here. Uh, first time you and I have had a chance to chat. Where did this journey start for you? How did you get involved in combat sports? So I just, I moved here about two years ago and I found combat cardio, just Google searching for anywhere to train. So I just showed up one day and for the last two years, I've been training on and off and that's all the experience I really have. Interesting. What, what made you want to actually go and fight? I mean, it's one thing to do it as, you know, maybe like a, to get in shape or whatever, but to make that leap, what, what sort of prompted that? Uh, it, it all started. I'm a Conor McGregor fanboy, so I would just watch the YouTube videos and then one thing led to another and I was watching UFC every single weekend. And as soon as I got the opportunity to start training, I wanted to get into it. Excellent. Uh, what, like what, what era are we talking about with McGregor when he was at 145, 155? Cause obviously uh, Connor's been around for a while. Like what, do you remember like a specific fight of his that really got you into it? It was probably against Jose Aldo with the quick knockout. Nice. And yeah. all the trash talk, just all of it. That's Get great. Um, I mentioned off the top there, obviously, uh, you, you just finished up work today. What do you do for work and, and how is it balancing that ahead of this uh, big fight you got coming up? So I'm actually in the Air Force. Oh, cool. um, so every, we work from seven to five pretty much every day. So I just get home, eat and train. And it's not really hard to manage it and balance it at all. It's just a good, good day layout. That way I can train and then I'm pretty much done for the day. It tires me out. Yeah, and, and I'm sure, too, like, they're probably pretty understanding about the fight thing because at least it's, you know, Air Force, I imagine they're not people who aren't fight fans, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like you're working in an office. Right. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. How long have you been in the Air Force for? A little bit over two years. Okay. What got you into that? Um, Getting into the Air Force, well, that was probably due to a lack of planning out of high school. Didn't really have much plans for working or college, so do something that's secure so I can figure out my future in the meantime. And I'm sure there's a lot of structure involved in that, kind of like you would need if you're going to be fighting as well, too. Do you see some similarities there? Yeah, for sure. You definitely need discipline. And you you need uh, just to have your head screwed on right to do both of them. You can't really mess up neither, and you have to be held accountable in both of them. So I mentioned it there, uh, obviously going to be having your first fight, uh, pro debut. Uh, how did this all come together? Like, what, what, what made now the right time to have that fight for you? So I think... It might be one of the cliche like a uh, New Year's resolution, but a couple months back, I wasn't training that much and I was kind of skipping some days at the gym. So I told myself if I have something to train for, I have something to work towards, then I would be in the gym more and hold myself more accountable. So I texted uh, my coach Vic and asked if he could get me a fight and he said he could. So ever since then, I've been locked in just trying to get as good as I can. That's good. Is, is it like a mix of excitement and nerves? Like, like t take me through sort of how you're feeling now as we're coming up to this fight on the 24th. Uh, I'm not really big on nerves. So I don't get too nervous about anything. Okay. So maybe like a couple minutes before the fight, I'm sure I'll all hit it once. But as of right now, I'm just doing what I have to do to get ready. Good. Uh, what do you know about your opponent, Jalen Kingbird? Uh, you know, how, how do you feel like you match up against him here? I, I don't know anything about him. From what I can tell, he, he looks like a tough guy. Um, I don't think he has any fights either, so I don't know, don't really have much to go off of, mm -hmm. but I feel comfortable with my skills to go in there against anybody. Is it just one of those things too, where you kind of focus more on what you're good at and the rest will work itself out, so to speak, right? Right. Yeah. I guess just go in there and, uh, feel them out for the first round. Okay. There you go. What about camp? Who've you been working with? Who's been some of the people, uh, coaches, training partners that are helping you get ready for this? I know we have a good team in there right now. We have four of our guys at the gym competing on the same night so we've been all getting rounds in and they're all a lot more experienced than me so i've been learning what i can from them and just training with people a lot better than me has helped me a lot good that's great what about the is, is there any sort of weight cut for this fight like do you have to to, to make a certain limit like is it take, take me through that part of things because that's i know that's half the battle sometimes right so normal walk around weight for me i usually walked around at like 190 to 200 pounds and for my height I, ideally, you'd want to get down to 55, but since it's amateur, I'm just cutting down to 70, which is, it's not terrible, but I have had to change my diet a bit, cut back on calories and carbs and just lose a little bit. I'm not too concerned about it because I'm, I'm down low enough where I only have to cut a little bit for a water weight when the fight day comes or the weigh-in comes. But I think weight cut, that's also a thing you need discipline for, just like 
uh, training in general and being in the military. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd say so too. Um, and uh, have you done like a test cut yet? Or is it just like, you're just, you feel like you, you've calculated enough that you can make the weight? I feel like I've calculated enough. So okay. if I'm, I'm going at fighting at 170, so I've been hovering right around like 72 to 75 area. Oh, I know. Wow. I, okay. Yeah. So I know I can cut two to five pounds of water weight. No problem. Cool. Uh, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? So I'm not sure who all is going to be in there because a lot of the guys also fight that night. So I don't know where they're going to be at, but definitely coach Vic. And I'd assume uh, coach Butch too. There we go. And what's your prediction? Again, you don't know much about your opponent here, but what would you like to happen? Like, are you a knockout guy? You want to get that submission or do you want to go to the distance and maybe, you know, show off all, all your skills and, you know, in, in the right amount of time there, do you have sort of a, a preference of how you want this one to go? So I think, from how we've been training and how I feel, I think I could definitely get a knockout early and I feel like I could do it in a fashionable manner too. But my coach has been talking to me and they said, don't rush anything, just stay calm. And they also just want me to stay in there longer just to get more experience and get a feel for the ring. But if the opportunity arises and something happens, then I can't stop it. I'm hoping yeah. for the best. Absolutely. Um, and, and sort of on this, I know it's probably going to be fight by fight and kind of measure where you want to go from here, but what are the short term goals? Is it just see how this fight goes, reassess after? What are sort of your plans with your career going forward? So I've never, really, I haven't really thought much for the future. I just kind of wanted to do this to prove it to myself and get in there because I feel like every guy should just, like, you learn a lot about yourself when you're fighting and you, you're exhausted, you're still getting hit, and you got to kind of like fight for your life. So I'm just doing this as like a mental challenge for myself. But if I look good and feel good, it's something I'm good at, and I'll keep doing it. Do you get any downtime in between work, or is it pretty much just training and work uh, 24-7? Um, most of the time, just training and work. I have some free time just to hang out with some friends, but nothing too crazy. Okay. Um, do you watch any other sports? Did you watch the Super Bowl yesterday? I did. Yeah, what did you think? I, apparently, San Francisco didn't know the overtime rules, which I thought was interesting. No, there'll always be people saying they don't know the rules to get out of it. But I don't know. The NFL this year, I don't want to be that guy, but it seems a little a little rigged recently. Yeah, you're not the first person to say that, by the way, so, so, so don't blame you there. And, and obviously, this event here coming up for Throne is sponsored by the, by the Air Force. Uh, what does it mean to you know, sort of be working in the Air Force and it's sort of like a, you know, a themed event? You know, we, the US, UFC used to do you know, military events. It's kind of cool to see Throne uh, really be, uh, you know, have the support of the, the Air Force. Right. I know the Air Force does a lot of that stuff, and they like uh, promoting. I mean, hopefully I, I'm a good representative for the Air Force and can make everybody look good and maybe get some people to join. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, well, either way, this interview was great, and Sean, I'm really excited for this one. It's Throne MMA coming up here February 24th. If there's anyone you want to mention before we get out of here, any sponsors, any social media you want to plug, or anything else, I'll give you the last word. All I got to plug is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All the power to him.